Justin, how do you feel like you guys need to get out to a faster start? Like I said, um, just have that same mentality that we have in the third and fourth quarter and just start off with it, you know, not warming up to, you know, the game and just coming out hot. So, like I've said, what, a couple of weeks ago, it's not mystical, it's just, you know, us, you know, coming out hot and um, executing our job. So, yeah. You've had a good rapport with your tight ends. What about that group collectively makes them yeah, I mean, they're you know we have a, a great tight end group. I think they all kind of specialize in different things. They're all versatile and they're all kind of different, you know. Um, of course, Darnell with his body size and um, you know just how athletic he is, what he can do blocking wise and stuff like that too. Uh, Pat all around, yo. Shout out to Dan Moore too. So yeah, I know, but um, yeah, Connor, he's great, um, great route runner smart player and you know all of them are smart so uh, they definitely allow us to do a lot of things on uh, offense for sure. Justin, what can you guys do to get more splash points? Yeah, I definitely need to uh, you know create explosive but I think you know I'm, we, we, we had a chance and um, the first one to Connor was you know six or six inches maybe a foot out too far in front of him to where he had to dive but really just connecting. Um, you, know, you know Arthur's going to make sure we get our shot shot plays in and you know try to create some of those explosives but it's really just connecting downfield and um, of course that starts up front uh, with protection and stuff like that but usually once we do that you know it just it just becomes pitch and catch from there. So. Does that open up some of the run game then if you do start to connect on some of those? Um, I think so you know you know defense might start getting the shell and stuff like that really just depending on who you play but um, you know every game you want you know a, a good number of explosive plays you know that's just going to get the offense in the rhythm and um, of course you know just Kind of get the whole thing going, so yeah. Arthur said, said that you're an old school guy, so the old school mentality as far as going to work and coachable things like that. Where do you think that, that old school mentality comes from? Is that something that he's told you or that you've done for him? Uh, not really. I mean, I'm guessing I just get it from my dad, you know. I think me and him are like. Um, but yeah, I've never heard that. So but, yeah, I just try to come in um, the same every day, you know, with the same intentionality to come in and work and uh, get better each and every day. So. What did your dad kind of show, how did your dad model the, the old school mentality? Where I mean, you yeah, uh, you know, he, he he was a cop growing up, you know, military man, so um, you know, super disciplined. And um, shoot, I, I would tell you, well, I, I, I guess I'll tell some stories, but um, I was in the, I think, seventh grade. I think I had a C in math class, and he shaved my head bald. Shaved it bald at the house. We went, we went to Walmart. He picked up a, uh, a Walmart sweatsuit that had, like, an army take on it. Got shoes, got, like, starter shoes from Walmart. Made me wear it to school. I mean, it was probably the worst day of my life, you know. So, uh, but it's like that. But, um, you know, I'm glad, you know, to this day that he did that. It, I think it, you know, just made me the man I am today. But, um, yeah, um, so I just try to come in and, you know, really um, just, you know, show gratitude towards, you know, my job. And I'm um, grateful to be here and be in this position and um, really just take, take advantage of every opportunity. How quick did your math grade come up after that? Uh, I mean, I was trying to get it up fast. I was asking the teacher for extra credit and all that. So, uh, yeah. But of course, did your hair grow back? It took me a long time. I mean, he did it twice. So he did it one time in seventh grade and another time in ninth grade. I forgot what I did in ninth grade for him to do it again. But, you know, that wasn't, it, it, it wasn't a one-time thing. So that just shows you how bad of a kid, uh, how, how bad of a kid I might have been growing up. So, yeah. Hey, just last mean, week, you told us about the importance of not kind of preordaining when you're going to go to George. Like, you don't want to force the ball to George yeah. in a given situation. Do you have to really govern yourself in that regard all the more if he's not getting as many snaps as was the case last week? Do you have to be cautious of that? Yeah, I think you do. Um, I think you have to let it come to you. Um, you really don't want to force it because it kind of you, you know messes you know up your flow as a quarterback. And um, yeah, but of course, at, at the same time as a quarterback, you want to you know give one of your best playmakers the ball and have the ball in his hands, you know, because he's he's great with it. He can make plays downfield. So. Um, <laughs> Really just, you know, finding a balance and not really necessarily forcing the ball, but, you know, when, you know, he is open and when there's a chance of getting him the ball, I definitely want to feed him for sure. Justin, how, do you deal with, how do you deal with that when he's frustrated? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. You know, you definitely got to feel for him. Um, he's just passionate about the game like we talked about earlier this year. And, um, you know, he knows how great of a player he is. And, um, you know, it's tough. So I think, you know, just talking to him, you know, I try to talk to him on the sideline, keep him, keep him up. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing and, you know, keep him going and just, you know, try to talk to him throughout the whole game and, you know, just stay in his ear and say, you know, yo, we're going to need you to make a big play soon. And, you know, when that happens, you know, we're going to need you. So, um, you know, just biggest thing is just being patient and, uh, you know, waiting, him waiting for the ball to come his way because at the end of the day, 
you know, defenses know that we're trying to get give, give, give from the ball, so they're going to game plan and uh, do what they can to try to stop that. Is that something where your experience with them, I mean, going back to seven on seven in high school, you know, you've kind of been around him a long time. Does that experience and trust relationship, is that where that helps when you're talking to him because you built up such a rapport? I think so, yeah. I mean, if I would have just met him this year, I probably wouldn't feel as comfortable, you know, saying that to him. But uh, since our relationship does go all the way back to high school, I think, you know, I'm more comfortable talking to him and stuff like that and kind of just, you know, trying to keep him calm, calm and silent. So, yeah. Just talking about looking forward, you know, staying focused on what's ahead of you. With Russell getting back, working his way in, taking second team back, is that still hard to do or do you just still try to keep this? Nah, I mean, like I said, I'm blessed to be here. So um, whatever my role is on the team, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability and uh, work hard. Your with, uh, with who? Arthur Smith. Oh yeah, I mean he's great. Um, you know he's awesome. You know makes jokes, a lot of jokes that are you know funny. Um, so, um, but uh, yeah, he's awesome. Uh, hardworking, of course, smart. Uh, you know he's very. Uh, he's a he's a great listener when it comes to you know listening to his players in terms of you know what we like as quarterbacks, what concepts we like and stuff like that so uh, he's able to you know adjust the offenses adjust the formations adjust where we place people on the field to, to um you know kind of get you know release patterns or you know certain guys the ball and stuff like that so uh i mean it's awesome working with him so. uh nah <laughs> nah, 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 nah. nah, I gotta keep that in there. Did you guys have weird references? Like, he dropped a Cheesecake Factory menu reference with us out of the Truman Show, Napoleon last week. I haven't heard the Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory one, but he definitely drops a lot of references. I think that's his thing. So, um, you know, sometimes I try to note him and keep him, keep him up. Since we're, like, in different generations, you know, he might he might drop an old one from, from back in the day that, you know, some of the younger guys might not get. But, um, you know, he definitely drops a lot of references for sure. Two more for Justin. Justin, uh, it seems like every week there's a, a different wrinkle in the run, QB run game. What are you liking about the ways that you've implemented these to take advantage of your mobility? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, I mean, it's great. Uh, I think it, you know, uh, keeps the defense on their toes um, instead of um, having to, you know, only guard, you know, the pass game and 10 in the run game. It's, you know, they, they have to focus on, you know, me, Najee, Jalen, CP, whoever's in the game at that time. So, um, you know, I think it's great that we incorporate that QB run game in there and, um, you know, Definitely having the defense, you know, work on that during the week, you know, it just gives them less time to work on other things. So I like it. If you're able to get Jalen back this week, what does that do for, for the offense? I mean, yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely a big, a big part of our offense. You know, he's a great player um, all around. He's he's great running the ball, pass pro, um, great in the flat, catching the ball out the backfield. So that'll be a, 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 a huge. A huge uh, part of our offense if we're able to get him back from there, for sure. Justin, with the last Ohio State versus Oregon matchup at Eugene getting canceled, yeah. um, how do you feel about your Buckeyes going into this matchup? Because last time the Ducks went into Ohio mm -hmm. State and won, so how do you think it's going to go? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I think we're going to get it back in blood, you know, this 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 upcoming Saturday. And, uh, you know, my guy, Thomas Graham, I know he's a big Oregon Duck fan, so, um, you know, I'll be, you know, tapping in with him during the game and uh, making sure I'm talking trash when they're playing. So. <laughs> On yeah. Monday, you guys are seeing what Oregon does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. All right. How much were you able to do this week and uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, I was able to do a lot more this week. You know, it was exciting to get back out there this week so far and, and uh, be a full participant and do everything, uh, all the reps and everything else. So that was great. Um, and uh, it just got better from the first day to day. I felt even better. Um, so that was a good thing. What are your expectations for Sunday, your role? What, what do you expect? Oh, that's a big question. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think, um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm preparing my mind to get ready to go and and, uh, and everything else. So that's kind of uh, my my mentality and help us win and whatever that is. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just getting prepared to, for Friday. You missed a lot of time during training camp, uh, team development the last couple of weeks. How much time do you need to get fully up to speed and not come that right? I've been getting all the reps. It's, it's, sometimes I, it's not like I haven't been out there, you know. It's... I've gotten a lot of reps, you know, over the, all this time and and everything else, and I feel really confident with our guys, who we are. Um, you guys saw some of the plays guys were making a day, you know, just a lot of good things, um, and so you know I, I feel confident about that, and I'm not worried about that part of it. Russell, will this work? Will you go to Mike and say, "Hey, I'm back"? Or so, you, say the question again. Will you go to Mike when you're? fully back and say I'm back, do you expect him to come to you and tell you you're back? Yeah, I think it's a group effort. I think uh, obviously Co Coach Tomlin and I, uh, Gabe, you know, the trainer here, and uh, he's done a great job. And uh, I think the doctors as well, you know, just communicating with them and just, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm always wanting to be on the field, that's for sure. Do you need extended yeah, work with the ones to do that though? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got to work with everybody, you know, I think that's the good thing. 
um, throwing all the different guys and everything else, and all the and all the all the run game stuff and all the checks and all that. So, I feel, I feel good about it. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. I know. I know. We kind of look all right. <laughs> Yeah, I feel confident that I'd be ready to play and play play at a high level. Um, and uh, you know, I think that's um, you know, I think we're being really smart too and trying to understand exactly how I feel. It's my first week, you know, really back out there with you guys, you know, when playing and all that stuff. So I feel really confident about that. And um, you know, the ball spinning, you know, that's a good thing. And uh, so I, you know, I, I have no. Uh, no doubt, you know, if, you know, in my mind, once I step between the white lines, I'll, I'll be ready to go. So you talked about doing more, going back to your first answer, you talked about doing more. You're talking about volume during the day, back-to-back uh, -back days, more in what capacity? Like within practices, what, what do you mean by more? you asking if I've had more volume, you mean? More volume, or like you able to run a wider swath of the plays with movement? And things yeah, I think the biggest thing, to be honest with you guys, is just being able to run well and do that well and, and, and and move around well. I feel like I've, I've been able to do that this week. I've started, you know, obviously, um, run the past couple, you know, week week or so, and really past couple weeks almost. Um, just you know, little bit by little bit every day, trying to be smart about it and really let everything heal and do all that. And so, um, you know, I got to be able to move around some today, which I felt really confident in. That was great to you know feel and know and everything else. And so it's a, it's a it's a process, you know, a process that I don't love. Um, in terms of just having to go through what I've been gone, gone through, but also at the same time, it's you, you get to figure out, you know, um, your fortitude, you know, the mental fortitude, um, and also and also understanding that um, you, know, you can always lead in different ways and everything else. And I think that's really important. And for us right now, you know, it's, this is it's a, it's a important game for us. We're three and two, and you know, we got to f focus on playing a really uh, talented, you know, uh, you know, Raiders team. You know, I, I've played these guys before. They got a lot of talent. A lot of great players and everything else, and so we've got to be ready to go and bring our A game. Russ, have you been able to go through the mental reps to where you feel like? Yeah, the mental reps and with yeah, the mental reps and the physical reps and all that too, and um, so that's been that's been the great part. Russ, when you mention hmm? when you mention leading, how much are you able to counsel, or, or what do you say to George when he's you know showing some frustrations about snaps and things like that in game? How do you help a young guy like that? Yeah, you know, I think that we all want to play. Um, we all want to be out there, and um, this is year 13 for me, and um, you know I've never been in this place that I'm in, you know, as well. And uh, it's it's tough, but also at the same time, you know that um, you know there's better days ahead, and you know, you also know that there's challenges along the way. I think with George, in particular, I try to you know relay to him that um, you know number one is is that uh, you know we love him, you know, and he, we love who he is, we love the the player that he is, we love. Uh, the competitor that he is, and that's the thing that you have to understand: is is uh, is is George a bad teammate? Absolutely not. Um, is George a, a, a hell of a player? Absolutely. Um, is he a great competitor? Absolutely. Is he is he a guy that um, you know wants the ball? Absolutely. Is he a guy that 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 can do anything on the field that most people can't? Absolutely. So, I think the best thing that we can focus on is is finding different ways to get him the ball. Obviously, also too. Um, him staying composed, that's, that, that matters, you know, but also understanding that it's all, all team effort. And the one thing about George is, and you guys saw, the best thing that I saw, even though he did react to that one, that one moment in the game, he responded well. You saw the big, I think it's third down, the big third down that he had, and he just got the crowd fired up and he was in it. He, still, he was still in it despite the moment. Some people, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you can get out of it mentally, emotionally, and um, he's, he hasn't done that, and he's been a great teammate. And, uh, and you know, we're looking forward to his best. Uh, we're looking forward to our best as well, and it's a great team effort, and um, we, we all want to win. Have you been able to gain a different perspective as the emergency QB the last couple of weeks? And now, if you're two this week, is there like a different view that you've had of the game? Or uh, view of the game? No, I think the biggest thing is just being ready, having your helmet ready at, at all costs. You know, obviously when Justin got you know um, hit that in that in the game last game. You know, Kyle, you know, immediately zipped up his helmet, and I had to go run and get mine and get my shoulder loose. I wasn't expecting that, um, so that was that was a quick process. Um, um, but you know, uh, it was good that you know Justin was able to get back in there and and uh, and all that stuff. So I thought it was also really cool to see Kyle, you know, hit a big throw for us, and that kind of gave us the momentum really when Kyle hit that throw because um, we kind of been struggling, and he hit that big throw and. And then here comes Justin, and he did well the rest of the way. So I think that was a, a good moment for us, um, you know, in the quarterback room. You just always, we're always prepared, and I mean, that's always got to be the mentality. Russ, uh, my, one of the things Mike talked about is you <laughs> being able to protect yourself when you're out there. That's one of the things yeah. 
check the box for him to feel comfortable with you playing. How close are you able to simulate in practice what you're going to see in the game? Yeah, well, we're doing um, all the I'm doing all the level on level and everything else. We obviously have a great pass rush and <laughs> going against those guys every day. Um, so um, I'm definitely getting a lot of that simulation there. Um, you know, they have a great you know defensive line and do some great things. Um, everything else. But I, I feel confident in that. You know, I've played a lot of football games. I've been in a lot of moments. Um, you know, I don't fear them. You know, you, you get, get ready to go and, you know, rock and roll. Like once I, like I said, when you step in between those white lines, and I think that's what matters. Last one here, Russ. Guys. We're doing Last a story one. on player safety, specifically head injuries. The NFL has done a lot with helmets and guardian caps and everything. Do you feel like enough is being done with that? Yeah, I think it's a continual process. Um, we're learning a lot along the way, obviously. You know, uh, with vices and all that stuff, and you know, all those helmets and different things that have uh, changed since when I first started coming into the game. And um, you know, I think it's such a, a key element. You know, as you guys know, you see, you see, you know, a guy like Tua, who's a tremendous football player, go through what he's gone through. You know, and you know, it's 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 real. You know, and uh, you know, and I think the biggest thing is is continual research. I think we have to continue to do that for player safety. That's always it's always super key. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. A little bit like as far as you can determine after these two losses. Um, both chances we had, both games we had chances to win the game. Um, didn't. Uh, but trying to dig ourselves out of a hole, you know, and you know, really try to put on a good performance. I think defensive wise, uh, you know, in spurts we're having success, but uh, you know, it's it's not been um, consistent, and I think. Uh, you know, if we want to get back to our winning ways, uh, you know, defensive-wise, we got to be way more consistent. Cam, what is the impact of uh, all the outside linebacker injuries? What you guys do? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it's hard to replace. Uh, you know, guys that uh, are they're that special. Um, but you know, um, it'll be a group by committee in TJ. So, you know, we know they're gonna single in on TJ. But uh, you know, we we have faith in our younger guys. A lot of communication's got to happen um, from you know the back end. Uh, the D line have to communicate as well, uh, and I think that will help us a lot to you know mitigate that a little bit. Cam, when you when you have a situation with all these <coughs> players and you already dealt with communication issues, do you have to mm -hmm. over communicate to some of the newer guys that try to yeah, make sure they're on the same page? Definitely, but I think uh, you know um, I'll take back to like when we brought in Mon Adams those years ago. Um, you know. It, simple things of like, you know, this is what you got here, just to help him feel more comfortable. Um, you know, I think these guys are getting on a moving train. Uh, the best thing you can do is over communicate, you know, during play, after play, on the sideline, uh, and just have that, you know, repetition of just them feeling comfortable in what they're doing. Can you, after looking at it, you kind of able to put your finger on what happened in the running game, especially in the second half against Dallas? Uh, you know, I don't know if we fit correctly. Uh, I think our C gap was a little bit uh, soft in some moments, but um, we didn't get up enough blocks. Um, and then when we did tackle, they fell forward. How well do you know Ade and Iku? Still getting to know them. Uh, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty quiet guys. Uh, Ade's started to open up a little more, tells a couple of jokes here and there. But, uh, you know, um, we're, we're going to learn each other pretty quick. So we'll, we'll get used to it. With TJ, do you sense any extra? on the shoulder this week, maybe knowing that it's him and a bunch of guys who've combined for, what, one game in a Steelers jersey at that position? No, I think TJ knows he's got to play well, but, you know, it's not like he's got to be Superman. He's just got to be himself. Um, you know, we win games working together, not just one person. So, um, and that's for everybody. I don't think anyone has to play out of character for us to be successful. Um, you know, this, this defense is built on 11 guys doing their job, uh, and, you know, it's, it's up for those younger guys to, you know, at least stay in their gaps. Do you notice him trying to take these guys under his wing a little bit this yeah. week? Or does everybody kind of have to just lock in and do their own thing? No, it's definitely um, TJ's providing clarity in a lot of situations, um, teaching them what to expect. Um, and it also falls on Coach Martin and Coach Dunbar uh, providing those little things to, you know, help them get an edge in the game. You know, I think our coaches do an amazing job of providing that, you know, week in and week out, so we're ready for the game. Cam, even for you, is it hard not to try to do more in certain situations and press a little bit? Um, I think I think every player struggles with that. Um, you know, I think you think you got to make a play, so you, you might, you know, backdoor something or you might uh, play out a character and try to make a play and then, you know, uh, you're out of your gap. Um, but you got to remember, uh, 
your fundamentals, and you got to rely on that. Um, you know, when you don't practice a lot, you got to rely on what what helps you get to that point. You know, your fundamentals, and you know, really stress that. If you can fall back on your fundamentals and fall back on what you know and how the game should be played and what's my my gap integrity, I think that allows you to play better. Developing consistency. What's the key to I guess doing that? Uh, taking one play at a time, um, not overlooking the situation, um, you know, not thinking that you know everything's going to be built on one play uh, or just third down. I think you got to look, look at it as you know, win first down, win second down, then worry about third, and then repeat process, and you know, hopefully we have success from there. Thank you.